This week has been a fantastic experience, I think, for all involved. The first uh, sports security senior management course that we have run for Interpol member countries has seen 27 member countries participating in an interactive and engaging learning environment with the National Centre for Spectator Sport Safety and Security. We've heard a lot this week about some of the key challenges to protecting major events globally and it's provided a really wonderful forum for all the participants from all regions of, of, of Interpol's uh, member countries to come together, share their experiences, learn together and uh, develop networks that will serve them in good stead in the future. We've got a really exciting time coming up approaching the five year anniversary mark of the uh, cooperation agreement between Interpol and Qatar in, in its preparations for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Uh, to mark that, th those uh, milestones, which is the halfway point of the agreement between Interpol and Qatar, we have a number of key events coming up over the next several months. So uh, building on the work that we've done here in relation to the uh, sports security senior management training, we have a legislation experts group next month, uh, October 2017, which will bring together uh, experts uh, in, in the legal field to talk about issues related to sports integrity, particularly anti-doping and, and match fixing issues. In November we have our first uh, major event safety and security conference. It will be hosted in Doha, Qatar from the 7th to 8th of November and bring together really thought leaders in, in the field of major event safety and security to share their experiences, share their good practices and, and again provide a, a very effective learning and networking environment for those uh, tasked with protecting these major events around the world. Following on from that, in December, we're back to Doha for our fourth, uh, pardon me, our, our third safety and security experts group. And the focus of those discussions is going to be around how the uh, police and the public safety authorities work with the private sector, particularly the private security industry, to protect our public spaces. So it's a very busy time, a very exciting time for us as we approach that halfway mark of, of the project and the agreement with Qatar.